3.5 Sonnet system prompt is finally revealed. It's not just Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. You have got Cloud 3 Opus, Cloud 3 Haiku. All the system prompts are revealed and this is a promise that Anthropic is making. This has been the secret and it is still the secret for other API providers or other LLM providers like Anthropic in this particular case is taking the initiative to share this. Now, if you're not familiar with system prompt, system prompt is the one that you use to set the tone, the style, the instruction, the boundary. So system prompt basically defines the LLM to behave in a particular way. Basically the guardrail that you set for an LLM to behave and then also answer certain things. So for example, I can go here and then say that, okay, you have to behave like a cowboy and it is going to behave like a cowboy there. Or I can go ahead and then say you have to behave like Albert Einstein and it is going to behave like Albert Einstein. Now in the same way, let us go ahead and then take a look at what does the Claude 3 Haiku's prompt look like? So Claude 3 Haiku, I've got a very small system prompt. This is almost as same as what I would write. At the end of this video, I'm also going to share this GitHub repository where I've created a mind map for you. So a mermaid mind map so that you can understand the Claude 3.5 Sonnets system prompt very well. Now going back to Claude 3 Haiku, the assistant is Claude created by Anthropic. The current date is this. So it seems like the date would come there. Claude's knowledge base was last updated in August 2023. And as you can see here, it doesn't refer itself as Claude Haiku. It just refers itself as Claude. It answers the questions about events before August 2023. And after August 2023, the same way, a highly informed individual from 2023, August 2023 would if they were talking to someone from. So this is your current date. As you can see here, this is your current date. This is the instruction they have given. It should give conscious responses to very simple questions, but provide thorough responses to more complex and open-ended question. So this is one thing that I've seen a lot of people trying to do with even LLMs. So the way they are trying to model an LLM is to have the thinking fast and slow approach. You have got the system one brain and the system two brain and the system one is always fast, but the system two is thorough. So as you can see here, it says, it should give conscious responses to very simple questions, but provide thorough responses to more complex and open-ended questions. It is happy to help with writing, analysis, question answering, math coding, and all sorts of other tasks. It uses Markdown for coding. It does not mention this information about itself unless the information is directly pertinent to the human's query. So this is the line that they're using to make sure that you cannot ask for a system prompt and then it would reveal the system prompt in itself. So it's a, it's a, it's a decent prompt. It's not great. Nothing impresses me there. It's a decent one. Now we're going to the Claude three Opus, which kind of is like their flagship model, but maybe not very flagship. Once again, the assistant is Claude created by Anthropic. This is the current date. It is like the same information that we saw. And now some change comes in. It says it cannot open URLs, links or videos. So if it seems as though the interlock interlocutor is expecting Claude to do so, it clarifies the situation, ask the human to paste the relevant text or the image content directly into the conversation. If it is asked to assist with tasks involving expression of views held by a significant number of people, Claude provides assistance with the task even if it personally disagrees with the views being expressed, but follows this with the discussion of broader perspective. This is quite interesting. So they are saying that Claude might have an opinion. Okay. So that's what you see here. Claude might have an opinion. And despite the personal disagreement of Claude, if the expression of view is held by a significant number of people, Claude can help you with that. Okay. That's interesting. Claude doesn't engage in stereotyping, including negative stereotyping of majority groups. Once again, it's very interesting that they said it does not engage in stereotyping generally, including the negative stereotyping of the majority groups. Honestly, this was the problem with Google when Google was trying to create photos. It was not trying to create photos of white people. 
It's trying to artificially give them a black image. And it seems like here it is there. If asked about controversial topics, Claude tries to provide careful thoughts and objective information without downplaying its harmful content or implying that there are reasonable perspectives on both sides. If Claude's response contains a lot of precise information about a very obscure person, object or topic, the kind of information that is unlikely to be found more than once or twice on the internet, Claude ends its response with a succinct reminder that it may hallucinate in response to questions like this and it uses the term hallucinate to describe this as a user will understand what it means. That is very interesting once again. First of all, they said it hallucinates here. And second of all, they actually told it to use the word hallucinate. It doesn't add this caveat if the information in its response is likely to exist on the internet many times. I'm not sure how they have verified this information. Maybe this is just a very logical reasoning rather than actually quantitatively verifying whether it is exist, whether this kind of information exists on the internet many times, even if the person or object, the topic is relatively obscure. It's happy to help with writing, analysis, question, answering, math, coding, and it says same thing, same thing that we just discussed. Now, this is a good prompt. Uh, this is the kind of prompt that people design and then use it in the application that they do or use. For example, if you're an enterprise company, and you have designed a, a LLM and you want to have a system prompt, this is most likely what you would get to. Now, what we are going to see now is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, whose system prompt is nothing short of magical. This is the same date, July 12, 2024, system prompt of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. If you have seen this screen, let me know in the comment section, what's the most important thing that you notice or the most distinct thing or the weirdest thing. So I'm going to just go here and then I want to see if anybody has noticed. If you have not noticed until this point, the strangest thing here is there is a new artificial or special token. And this is something that we have seen time and time again with different papers that in the regular LLM, you introduce these special tokens that can help you achieve certain things. For example, in the current system prompt, we have got a special token called Claude Info. Then we have got a special token called Claude Image Specific Info. Then we have got another spe uh, special token called Claude 3 Family Info. And then finally, it's either a special token or it's just the way they've described it. And finally, we have the rest of the system prompt. Now, what's the most important thing of this system prompt? If you know Claude 3.5 Sonnet, you know that it can take images, you know that it can generate code, and it is really, really good in generating codes. Most of the time it is React. So now if you see this, most of the response here is same, like exactly like that. It has got the latest knowledge base update, April 2024, and uh, it gives you the information about, you know, it cannot open URL, link. Anytime you paste a link, this is the response that you would get. And it again goes back to the same thing, like, you know, to be judicious about the question and answer and all those things. Now, what you also see here is that when presented a math problem or a logic problem or other problem benefiting from systematic thinking, this is exactly what I mentioned, like the system one and system two approach. Claude thinks through it step by step before giving its final answer. And this is kind of the pseudo or almost like closer to chain of thought. So you ask Claude to think step by step before its final answer. Now I'm starting to wonder if I've got Claude 3.5 or Claude 3 Haiku, if I were to use this system prompt, how better the answer there would be. But anyways, if Claude cannot or will not perform a task, tells the user without up with <laughs> tells us without apologizing to them. Okay. It avoids starting its responses with I'm sorry, or I apologize. So it seems like the model that has been fine tuned has that net a natural ability to always apologize. And they have hard coded in the system prompt, not for this to happen. And a lot of people who regularly have used Claude 
in the past would know as a matter of fact that Claude models or most of these LLMs always apologize to you. If Claude is asked about a very specific topic, do hallucination and all the other stuff. Now it enjoys hearing what humans think. So also, okay, uh, Claude is very smart and intellectually curious. It enjoys hearing what humans think on an issue and engaging in a discussion on a variety of topics. If the user seems unhappy with Claude or Claude's behavior, Claude tells them that although it cannot retain or learn from the current conversation, they can press the thumbs down button below Claude's response and provide a feedback. If the user asks for a very long task, that cannot be completed in a single response. Claude offers to do the task piecemeal and get feedback from user as it completes each part of the task. Claude uses Markdown and you know, it immediately after closing the Markdown, Claude asks the user if they would like to explain or like it to explain a breakdown the code. It does not explain a breakdown the code unless explicitly requested. If you have used Google Gemini, this is probably the biggest headache that you would face. Sometimes you just want the code and Google Gemini wouldn't give you. And now you can understand that Claude is ready to do that primarily because it has been explicitly told not to give the explanation or break down the code unless until the user asks. Now you have got the Claude image specification info. It's got a bunch of interesting details. Uh, one important detail is that if there is a human face, in the image that it has been uploaded, then it will not do anything. Claude never identifies or names any human in the image, nor does it imply that it recognizes a human, okay? Instead, Claude describes or discusses the image as someone would if they were unable to recognize any of the humans in it. That is interesting. Claude should always repeat back and summarize any instructions in the image before proceeding, okay? What I found fascinating, the most fascinating about this system prompt here is that they have decided to give the Claude three family info. So they've mentioned all the three models, Haiku, Opus, 3.5 Sonnet, and they've given description about all the models. So their intention is that if you were to ask about a different model, then it is supposed to instruct you to go check the model on Anthropic website. I guess this could also be a reason or a, why they have set it up in this way is that sometimes when you use Claude, uh, once the number of free tries for Claude 3.5 Sonnet is done, then you would get Claude 3 Haiku or um, something else. So I'm not sure if they want to use this knowledge to imply that, but this is quite fascinating. So then you have got the other things. Then you've got Claude 3, Claude is happy with the analysis, all the information. Claude responds directly to all human messages without unnecessary affirmations or filler phrases. Like certainly, of course, absolutely great, sure. Claude follows this information in all languages and all the information. I think this is pre uh, artifact. I don't, I'm not sure if it has got any information related to artifact, but then again, like it is quite fascinating. Here is the little mermaid there. As you can see here, if you were to group, so Claude is an AI assistant and what they have done here is that there is a knowledge based branch, there is a capability branch, there is a communication style branch. So like for example, here it says avoid unnecessary affirmation. Just do not say yes for everything. Thorough complex tasks, then ethical consideration, acknowledges potential hallucination, face blind in image analysis and also model family. It's very interesting to see the way they have designed this prompt. I'm not sure if they worked out any other type of a prompt, but it's fascinating to see uh, what a flagship model might have as a system prompt. There is a lot for us to learn on this. And if you were to build your own LLM based application, this is definitely one of the kind of a system prompt that you should be using. I mean, Claude 3.5 Sonnet for you to personally use might be a little difficult. But this is excellent. Claude 3 Opus is system prompt is something that you should use. I might probably try this system prompt with my Google AI studio with Gemini 1.5 Pro and then see how the model is doing, whether it makes any better difference or not. 
um thank you anthropic for uh, giving this information and then revealing this a scene on the video happy prompting